Hey, what's up everyone, Roy Cross here, and we have another new breakdown for you today. It's gonna to be a comparison video of Michael Norman and Noah Lyles when they ran the 200 meter. Uh, it's actually an upset where Michael Norman beat Noah Lyles, and I think there's a lot we can learn from you know, both of them in this race. As always, if you like the information in this video, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and comment down below any recommendations that you might have for us in the future. We'll hop right in the video right now. So as you hop in the video here, I just wanna say that uh, I don't wanna take anything away from Michael Norman. I think that he did a great job in the actual run. And I also don't, don't wanna make it seem like Noah Lyles did anything you know, totally out of the ordinary in order to lose this race. But I do think there's a couple key things that, that both that happen uh, within the race that just shows that it's like any given race. You gotta show up every single time you get these opportunities because you never know when somebody's gonna come and, and, and edge you out. Uh, so you can see here, we got the, the start. I really like Noah Lyle's start, just like how I, I love his stride as well, how he just is able to get so much extension there, does a great job of being able to really get very, very long within those legs. You know, Michael Norman does a good job as well, but, but Noah Lyle's just has a unique ability to create certain amounts of extension within the hip that I think is just super unique to him. Uh, I do think Michael Norman stayed in his drive phase a lot better. We can see Michael Norman right here. We can see Noah Lyle's right there. I'll go and, and rewind it back for you guys so you can see exactly what they look like at the beginning looking at the same people there michael norman noah lyles look at how they're they, how, how noah lyles just get that extra section on each one of the the feet and then michael norman i think he just stays in that drive phase a lot better you can see his head kind of out in front of him and and really is, is driving here and does a great job of gaining ground through that that drive phase we can see you know noah lyles is a little bit more upright in through here where michael norman's still driving through driving through and he catches up a little bit because of that Right, and then I think what happens is Noah Lyle starts to get almost too much acceleration going, where then when he gets to the turn, he has a little bit of a difficulty here with this turn, right? So he starts to slow down right around in here, which gives Michael Norman the ability to take that inside uh, because of, of his overall speed. That's what it seems like, is he's, he had to kind of slow down a little bit uh, in order to catch himself. So now he's getting back onto his horse after kind of slowing down a little bit. And now we can see some of the greatness of Noah Lyles, which is just that, that ability to really close on people, right? Get that great extension there on, on each one of those steps and, and that unbelievable turnover that he has, right? Because of his ability to really get that leg back behind him, but then drive that foot right up and through and that knee up and through so quickly is it, just something that's so amazing that, that he's able to do so naturally. And that's where uh, that speed comes from is that that a, a unique ability to get that that tremendous turnover speed even though his legs are so far back behind him he's only 5'11 right so he when he runs it looks like he's like 6'2 because of how long his stride is and, and how much distance he takes up per step but yeah he's only 5'11 all right michael norman on the other hand has does the uh does a great job being able to get to that lead and then he allows Noah Lyles to kind of catch up. So right here, he's, he's just doing a great job of running his race. He's not concerned with what Noah Lyles is doing. He's staying consistent on, on what he's trying to do and what his goal is. So he's doing a great job staying with his foot. Each one of his steps are, are nice and long. He's getting that full extension with his leg out in front of him. He's staying nice and relaxed here. Even though I know he feels Noah Lyles coming, he's still staying nice and relaxed and staying focused on what the goal is, where you can see Noah Lyles is really trying to stress here, right? You can see Noah Lyles really doesn't want to lose to Michael Norman at all, because he knows what's going to end up happening, which is all the result that, you know, we, we saw. And the reason I'm even making this video in the first place is because Michael Norman was able to pull off this upset. Noah Lyles did not want that to happen. And you can see how he's going and really pushing that head, really trying to work. So what happens is that night, and we recently did a video of Christian Coleman and showing what Kristen Coleman did against Noah Lyles or Noah Lyles won and we see the opposite, right? So notice that what happens is he gets too far extended out in front of him. So now his feet are getting too high up and he can't control his spine very well, right? Because if, if he would have stayed in this same position here this whole time, he would have been able to catch him. But what happens is he gets pretty laid into it and now all of a sudden he starts to lose that spine stability. His foot, feet gets too high, his spine starts going all over the place. And because of that, Noah Lyles, is, or, or sorry, Michael Norman's able to maintain his composure through this. And then he gets that reach there at the end to be able to nudge him. Where, because, and, and Noah Lyles looks like he's about to fall over. But if Noah Lyles was able to stick with the, the same speed, the same stride, the same you know overall posture, I think he would have been able to, to still win this. Um, but, but he ended up lunging out too far and lost control, which gave Michael Norman the ability to extend out and get him. Now, I think Michael Norman's been doing a lot of great work recently. We all saw that he ran a 986 very 
Um, you know, not too long ago, I think at this time, I mean, he still obviously is an elite runner, even being on the track right here, being able to beat Noah Lyles. Um, he's a top guy, but I think even more so now, I think he's been able to work on his top speed. I think he's been able to make improvements within his start. So um, I would love to see this race again with, you know, both of them, because I, I think that it would, it would still be an amazing race. I think these guys are, are, stunt, are two of the best within the 200 meters. Um, you know, if, if not just in the United States, in the world. And so I think that when they race again, it's going to be absolutely, you know, a, a tremendous race. Um, but, you know, I think that that what happened here uh, was a little bit of, of a poor start with Noah Lyles and, and didn't do a great job with the turn. Was able to, to catch him back up within the, the straightaway, uh, but lost a little bit of the form there at, at the end to make it so Michael Norman was able to to really uh, to get that victory. I think Michael Norman did a great job with his start. I think he did a great job through the turn and then just ran his race at the end. And that's what made him able to beat Noah Lyles and, and all props to him. That's why I said, you know, I, I think it was a uh, unique race. I don't want to take anything away from any of them. I don't want to put, you know, throw any shade on it at all. I just want to be able to show kind of some, some of the things that happened that, that made a big difference in, in how the outcome of this race ended up being. All right. Um, I still think, you know, if, if I still think Noah Lyles is probably the best at 200 meters. That's my, my overall opinion. We'd love to hear yours. I'd love to hear what you guys have to think um, about that. But uh, as always, thanks for watching these videos. If you have any you know questions about some of our uh, programs, I have a lot of different links down below. We have a free speed book. We have like a five ways to improve your speed, which is free. Uh, you can hop on a Zoom session with me. We have a seven day free trial. Uh, we also have a three month program that we're doing right now that we have a great deal on. Uh, only two ninety seven for three breakdowns. I think it's a tremendous deal. It'll help you out a lot. The breakdowns are just like this. Um, and, and yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching these videos, and we'll talk to you soon.